Hello and welcome to another Division video. As I promised in the previous version or the previous video, as I did the guide for Amherst in Legendary, let's start with Grand Central as well. So I show you here my preferred strategy places I go if I run this mission solo with a tactician build. And yeah, the first part actually on this one here is not too hard. Just as a quick recap, recap you just meet elites here. And second one, there are a lot of Russian shotgunners. Two of them are right here. They will come soon. That's why I prepare already a, a grenade just to stop them from rushing. But he died actually from my Seeker mine, but just to be sure. And actually this guy here didn't take any damage from the Seekers. Yeah, it was a little bit buggy as well. And yeah, you can run this first part with either Seeker and Sticky or Seeker and Turret. Seeker and Turret is a little bit more the comfortable way, easy way. It works as well. Sticky could be a little bit faster, depends if these guys stand really good and close to each other. Then you can kill a, a lot of them just with one stick at the beginning. I would really uh, suggest to go in cover like where I am now on the right side. There is another spot on the left side, a little bit more in the back. But if you stand there, yeah, this is already the second spawn. Two more Russian shotgunners, so be careful. But the strategy is still the same. Place the turret where I did on the yellow line in the front there, so that it can reach on the left side and all the NPCs in the front. And just throw your seekers, and yeah, this first part, as I said, should be really easy. As you saw, one seeker mine went actually uh, out on the street because there were some red bars. If I killed the shotgunners from the second wave, then you can change your position and you can go back here on this little wall and you can throw your uh, turret a little bit more in front. So this is useful because then it can hit the shield guy as well and the, the, the distance, the reach is much better on this spot here. Yeah, and we cleared already the first part, so as I said, it's really not too hard on this section. And yeah, I would suggest if you do it the first time, then just run Seeker and Turret. The second part here, you see I changed to Sticky Bomb. There are two options, so what you will do anyway is just quickly go down when you grab aggro. It's about two-thirds of the stairs down and then just back up again. And then you can just hide here and you can kill. This was a really bad sticky, as you see. I was playing on PS4 after a long time. I played more on Xbox and yeah, I was not that used to the controller anymore. That's why I'm so crap on aiming and everything else. But as you will see, it anyway worked, although my aim was pretty bad. So you can kill the guys from up here with your sticky and with your seeker. It works pretty good too. And you can kill the guys as well with the turret, but then not on this spot because it's almost impossible to kill the NPCs in the healing box of the healer. It works with time when the box goes down, but it takes a pretty long time. As you see with the sticky, it's one shot from the healer and the box, and then you can just throw seekers and kill the others with the sticky, and it works pretty fast and pretty good. Just be careful, there is also an agent down there, and he can kill you with the sticky if you don't have the recover link. And otherwise, if you don't have the, the opportunity or the, the trust that you can finish it with a sticky and seeker, then just go further away in the back. So behind here, I'm actually not really sure if I show it to you after, I guess, yes. But behind this spot here is a little wall behind the barrier. And then you can lure all the guys out up here. So let's see. Nope, I go down. So on the next spot, and if you have questions where it is, of course, I can post a video, a video, a picture of it, just to show you and let you know where the spot is, where with which I meant up there. But just behind the barrier where you can jump over, there's a little wall, a placate, uh, uh, an advert from the subway here, and then you can stand back there, place your. Uh, the, the, the turret, sorry, I'm a little talker, a little bit weird, sorry. Uh, place your turret in front of the stairs and they will come up there. As you saw, this was the second spawn down here, so take care before you go down here. There are two shotgunners, what else? Two shotgunners and a squad leader. 
that will come up the stairs and you can sometimes you can just wait up there and they will run towards you so before you go too far place your turret up there on the spot where i show you and release the seeker and go back because again what else two shotgunners will rush to you to your point or to where you are and just be safe on this spot here and soon after the, you killed the first guys will spawn the next shotgunners again too so that's why I, I stand just back here and wait until these bastards are down as well it's not too hard actually to clear this part uh, as i said the shotgunners can be pretty annoying they hit really hard but the rest it's not too hard there is a healer as well usually if you have luck and stand in the back you can kill him with the seeker mines as well there is a squad leader and as you saw an agent and from the agent as usually you have to be really careful because yeah he is able to one shot you with a sticky so always have a look to him and then yeah just this is my preferred spot here i just stand in the train here or the whatever you name it you see where i am now and just place my box my box my turret up there on the box and release the seeker and then this part should be not that hard too so after the next section there are uh, four npcs and if you are lucky i will change now to sticky back it's much better to clear these two parts with sticky bomb and if you're lucky they stand close together you can actually all get together with one sticky so do the same like i do now i was not that lucky unfortunately on this one here so i didn't hit all of them but you will see what i do and sometimes it works that you can get all of them with one sticky so stay in the back here place the sticky what actually the same what i did now and as i said if you're lucky you can get all of them together i was here pretty lucky as well because he almost got me with his sticky but yeah i did still have my super my recovery link so i was pretty comfortable and yeah as usually i really don't care if my super procs because i get it back so fast anyway so don't bother if you proc your super more times more often that doesn't matter at all if you have determined on the gun then that's fine for you and you get it back pretty soon here i had to <laughs> read a message actually pretty quickly <laughs> that's why i was running in this vehicle so then run in here and here this is the part that's most annoying for me at least i try usually to kill the squad leader the squad leader with the two stripes as you see and i just throw in there my sticky the problem is there is a healer as well but the hero is not inside when you enter the room the first time he just spawns after you killed the first npc in there and yeah you see here was a little bit hairy as well there are two shotgunners they will rush you immediately usually not that fast as these guys here that's why i didn't expect it that fast here i was a little bit surprised but yeah you can still manage it just use your, use your seeker sticky and of course your grenades as well to stop them from rushing. And as you see my super proc here doesn't matter. It's almost halfway back as you see just from a couple kills. And yeah, as I said, the healer will spawn just on the second wave and you can't get him with the first sticky. And this is why you can't really um, do that much to clear this part really fast. If you get the healer fast then you're lucky and you could even try to go inside the room again when you see there's nobody up here in the control area and try to get the healer with the sticky but for me because i didn't have the super for the moment it proc before i played a little bit more passive to just to make sure that i don't die because after this point there is the checkpoint of the mission so and on this spot here i would recommend not to die because then you can do all the way again to this spot and as you see i got my super already back that's why i not decided to go in actually no i throw my secrets inside just to show how many npcs are in there because when they split up the secrets you see uh, how many npcs the seekers go and hunt and yeah now one guy was rushing pushing so this is for me the right strategy go in there and that was actually pretty lucky the healer was coming up 
that happens not all the time, then just be cautious, play clever and smart, throw your secrets in there, go inside, have a look, try to get as many NPCs as possible. There are just two spawns, so there are all NPCs in there you have to kill before the checkpoint. They will not come more inside this room here. So just play clever and smart. As I said, take your time, clear this area. For me, this is the most annoying part, and uh, yeah, this is definitely a part I'll try to get a better way than this one here. It is actually not too bad, to be honest. So it went pretty well on this run, and it went pretty well usually, but sometimes it takes a little bit longer ben because if some MPC, if the healer places his box very stupid for me, then the guys actually up there in this area get healed as well. So that's why I kill one guy down there, throw my Seekers down there as well to force him to place the box pretty far in the back. I'm running up here the stairs, there's another hole in the, in the roof and you can stand there as well. But this spot here, yeah, it doesn't matter too much, to be honest. If you kill him here with the Sticky and Seeker or from the hole in the roof, it doesn't matter too much. It's just on the left side and it works as well, but I prefer to have the overview overall. And yeah, so I'm able to kill a couple NPCs with the stick from up here. There's one more shotgunner coming my way, as you will see. So at the beginning, when you come up here, one shotgunner will rush you. Then you have quick time, about 10-20 seconds. And soon after this, you see here the second guy will come after you. So be careful. After this one, there are just regular NPCs, a lot of grenadiers as well. So you have to be a little bit careful and actually, actually one of the most annoying parts on this mission is not the lag, not the, 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 the bugs, the buggy things and everything. Uh, actually the most annoying guy is here in this mission are the guys right in front of me, the JTF. Yeah, the JTF take always your cover, they stay always in front of you, they can be really annoying and it's pretty funny. If you played Far Cry, then the guys you can uh, order, not order, the guys that you're in, in your inventory you can unlock, the boomer and uh, cheeseburger and everything, they are actually a real help. And that's kind of surprising if you play the division with the JTF and then Far Cry. It's kind of different. So as you see, take your time on this spot here. It's not too hard to be honest, just be careful, be cautious. And now the second spawn, at uh, the third actually, there are two shotgunners rushing you away. So be careful, stand in the back. This is my preferred spot back here. Uh, yeah, they can throw grenades back here, but it's for me personally the best spot so far. So you can jump back on the right side and you and they don't can rush you from the right side. That's the main reason why. And if I see the, the shot is our death, then usually I go up where the JTF jump up right now as well because you have the better overview and you can kill the guys. But if the grenadiers throw a grenade up there, then yeah it's not the best spot because you don't have that much space to jump back or to go in cover. This is just annoying if you jump back and automatically in cover again. There is a fire right beside you, so this can be pretty annoying. But otherwise, as I said, just take your time on this one here. It's not too hard. There's just a healer. He can be annoying because he heals his teammates all the time, his the NPCs, and this is a little bit annoying. But if you're cautious, play smart, then it doesn't matter too much. And it doesn't matter for me as well, as I said before, if my super procs, because as usually, yeah, I get it back pretty fast. And as I see right now, the graphics is pretty bad. I'm really, yeah, confused. I ordered a better internet quality, but I don't know what went wrong in my apartment. If it doesn't work or whatever. But sorry guys, I'm really sorry for the bad quality of the, of the video. I recorded it more than three times now. And yeah, I'm really sorry about this. I really tried to improve the quality as soon as possible. But somehow it seems not that easy as I expected it to be. So 
I'm really sorry for this. But I still hope it is useful for you and especially with the comments and the tips I can share from my runs. So for the next part I just go in cover on this spot here. I still use Stick in Seeker because with the stick you can kill a couple guys. They stand really nice together in front there. And then I try to kill a couple more and then I will move on the right side in the front. There is a healer as well. But usually I focus if I can the shield guy because he has the most health and he takes you need the most time for him to kill to bring the health down. So as you see now I go in front here and of course the next guy I try to focus is the healer or the box if I can't hit him. And then if you kill the healer just take your time. There are a couple mechanics as you see in the front but you should be pretty safe on this spot for the rest of this wave. And yeah, all the NPCs are already here, so no more sp will spawn in the back. Now a cover to cover move in front of the tent. <coughs> and after this a cover to cover in the tent, behind this wall. Here actually, for me, this is my preferred spot. You are really safe here. So the only thing you should care a little bit is there is an agent, he can shot Sticky in this entrance and this Sticky can damage you, but otherwise the Seeker Mines doesn't hit you usually, the, the grenades doesn't hit you in there usually, so it's the most safe spot in my opinion. And yeah, this is the final part before the bosses spawn, there's one wave before the bosses, but if you have done this then you have to prepare for the boss fight. So there are not too many left. And here you have to have a look before you kill the last NPC. You can already prepare for the boss fight because then you can change your skills. I changed back to my turret for the last part. That's why I was waiting here a little bit more for the cooldown of my second skill. Now this was the last guy, I guess at least. Yeah. And now you get the sign, eliminate hostile, so I change to third back. You have to be pretty fast so that they don't rush you up here. Then I go in the back, you see the car here. I place usually the turret here. They spawn right down the street, all the way down in the truck in the back. I tried really different spots there. I tried to go back the stairs, but then it doesn't count as the mission area. And it restarts from the last checkpoint, so it doesn't work if you go back. Actually, it would be the best, definitely, but as I said, it fails, the mission fails. So that's why I go in the tent here. And the reason why I place the turret in front there is to force the healer, yes, there's a healer as well, to place the healing box in front there. And this is the first reason, and the second reason is, yeah, you know, I was not that lucky as you see, but it doesn't matter too much. And the second reason is that not all the guys rush together here to the tent. As you see, it's... yeah... I'll be really honest with you, it doesn't work all the time, but I would say more three out of four times for me personally, it works. And yeah, because the stagger effect is still not fixed because of the... you don't see always the grenades from... or the sticky bomb from the agents, for me personally, this is my preferred spot and although you, it looks pretty crazy because all the guys stand around this entrance here of this tent, yeah, it looks pretty crazy, but for me personally, it's the safest spot. Just make sure that you place always your turret in front of the entrance to stop them from rushing and always, I really <laughs> recommend you, have always an aid ready. If a guy is in front of this tent and with time you know which guys are a little bit more pushy, these are usually the healer, he rushes pretty often and the mechanic not that often but especially the healer on this one and the rifleman. So if you see a rifleman in front of the tent I always throw an aid to him just to stop him from rushing and always as you see I place my turret in front of the entrance, release my seeker, let my seeker do the work. I have a look at the NPC if he makes signs to rush in the tent. And then I just kill them from in here. And yeah, if a guy rushes in the tent, you are still have a chance to survive. 
the chance is not too high. I would say 50-50 if it's just one guy. But if you have a, the best is a blind a grenade where you can make him blind, the blind status effect, because usually he runs all the way in the back. So then just be in cover here. Don't play too, uh, what shall I say? Don't let you stress too much. Just stay in cover here, turn around, throw the nade back and try to shoot him with your gun. So this is your main option you have. And as you saw, there were a couple more. No, this is actually already the boss part. And yes, the bosses, the agents, they tend to rush as well a little bit. So sometimes it works that you can kill one after each other. They don't come in front here. And otherwise, as I said before, always have an aid ready. Always place your turret in front of the entrance. As you see here, with the turret you're pretty fine. And if you play this in a two-man group, I can recommend as well to run a Firecrest build. Yes, of course, fire is much better to stop them from rushing. So you have much better crowd control. And the hunter back there, that was so annoying. <laughs> I don't know how many times he disrupted me. But I talked already what I think about the Hunters in this new legendary missions in the previous guide from Amherst. So I don't do it anymore. I complained a lot there. <laughs> or too much. So that's why I let it be for this one here. But yes, at the end, as you will see, it takes a while as well to kill the Hunter. There was just one sniper left. And at, for the Hunter the same. The, the sniper boss, I mean. Or another sniper. It doesn't matter. There are two snipers. A sniper boss and a conventional sniper. Same here. I am really wondering and I like to hear your strategies how you kill the hunter. But yeah, my strategy is just take time, play smart, be in cover, use seeker, use turret. And yeah, melt him down millimeter by millimeter of his health bar. That's my main strategy. You see he can throw stickies in the tent, so you have to be really careful. I thought it's the best spot, but yeah, it's not the best spot. And that's why I decided later to go back in my previous tent. And this tent worked pretty well too. And yeah, he will rush you there as well. And yeah, as usually, drink water, damage to leads increase, use seeker, use turret, use your nades, whatever everything you have and try to kill this guy as fast as possible. He gives uh, an exotic, I know, but honestly I would prefer to kill him faster that he's just the same hunter as in the underground or wherever else or even, even a hunter from resistance because as I said in the previous video this hunter has at least uh, an armor and you can use destructive on him the enemy armor damage on your AR and the talent on your gun and you, it would go a little bit faster I would guess yeah but at least he heals not that much so <laughs> let's say something positive at the end yeah and this is the last guy so as you will see it took me about for from now on about three minutes to kill him and yeah all in all just too long for just one hunter but anyway I do really really hope you enjoyed the video, although I'm really sorry about the bad quality again. I tried to fix it as soon as possible and I really hope you can you find this video useful. You can use some strategies I use here for your future or current runs and improve them a little bit time-wise or security-wise or whatever. And yes, I do really appreciate if you can hit the thumbs up and give this video a like, leave a comment down below. And thanks a lot for watching. See you in the next one. Happy farming the two new legendary missions and happy fighting these new hunters in the legendary mission. See you soon guys. Have fun. Bye bye.
notification the hostiles incoming.